Candace back with another video and for today's video this is another requested video if you guys have not seen my cast video on um, online duh if you guys have not seen the cast video on my channel you should definitely check it out I'll link it in the description box down below but it's my most viewed video with over 3 million hits it's literally just a video of me getting my cast taken off but I'm I'm gonna keep it real. I'm super hairy. So when I got my cast taken off, it is just like fur on my leg. If you wanna check out my cast video, see how hairy girls really are, you can check that out in the description box down below. So many people ask me all the time, how did you end up in the cast? So today's video is going to be all about how I ended up in the cast. So here's a little tale. So it was me and my boyfriend, and we only had our first child at that time, Mo, and he was about six months old. And this was right in the beginning of the new year, it was January. My boyfriend picked me up from work because at that time we only had one car. He had my son with him, of course. We wanted to do groceries. So I was like, let's go to the store to do some groceries after you pick me up. So when he picks me up, he's like, okay, do you still want to go to the store and do groceries? There's really bad traffic on I-4. Okay, no problem. Let's just go to the store that's closest to my job. And, you know, we'll go home from there. By that time, the traffic will be gone. We get there, we're shopping around, you know, dilly-dallying, whatever, as everyone does at Walmart. This Walmart was particularly ratchet. We fit right in. Ah. Just kidding. No, this Walmart was, like, super ratchet. So we're in the biscuit aisle, and we're getting some biscuits. So I'm grabbing the biscuits, and I like the honey butter biscuits. Pillsbury honey butter biscuits. And he likes... The original flaky layers. Because he never had the honey butter biscuits. If he had the honey butter biscuits, he would know the honey butter biscuits are better. Why? Because everything is better with butter. We know this from like Candace Cooks. Okay, so we're like going back and forth arguing. Like, let's get the honey butter. No, let's get the original flaky. Flaky butter. Flaky butter. All right, so we're back and forth arguing. I grab a biscuit from the shelf. We're in the refrigerated aisle, right on the corner. So I grab a biscuit from the shelf, and around the corner comes a man in the motorized scooters that you can ride while you're shopping. So around the corner comes this man, and he literally just, like, runs his cart right into the back of me. So my boyfriend's like, oh, watch out. So he, like, tried to, to like, to grab me and pull me back. But by that time, it was too late, and the man had already hit me with the cart. My natural reaction when I got hit with the cart was just lift my foot up, which I did, and start crying. <laughs> Worst reaction ever. Yes, I know. The man just kept driving, by the way. And he was, like, talking on his cell phone. He did not give a damn about the fact that he hit me. He asked me, are you okay? And I just said, yeah, because I, like, lifted my foot up really quick. I felt really bad pain in my foot. But I didn't really think too much of it. And my boyfriend looks down at the floor and he's like, like Okay, don't freak out. Of course, instantly I freak out. And he's like, like Your foot is bleeding really bad. So I look down and literally I'm in a pile. A puddle. Not a pile. I'm in a puddle. <laughs> Dang it. This is the best part. So I look down I'm just standing in a puddle of my own blood in the middle of the refrigerated aisle at Walmart awful. There was a man who was filling a worker from Walmart and he was in the middle section and he was filling the juice or whatever and he looks at me bleeding, doesn't do anything about it. Keep in mind, people are still shopping around us like, and people are looking down at my foot and they're like, girl, you better sue. Girl, you better play that up. And I'm like, play it up. What do you mean play it up? My foot is literally bleeding. Like, I'm not making this up. I'm not being dramatic. My foot is bleeding all over the floor. My boyfriend is like, Do you want me to go find the guy so that he can apologize to you, like, see how bad he hurt your foot? He goes to find the guy, so he finds the guy, and the guy comes back, and he looks at my foot, and he's like, But why ask if you were okay? Like, yeah, but you never apologized to me. Like, you obviously hurt me pretty bad. Like, you should apologize. But why ask if you were okay? And my boyfriend, he, you know, pretty big dude, so he's like, Looking at the guy, whatever, he makes the guy apologize to me. It's, it's really insincere because my boyfriend made him do it, so I'm just like, whatever. A few more minutes go by, and we finally see a man with kind of like a more fancy outfit. We're, we pull him to the side, and we're like, are you the manager? And he's like irritated that I asked him that, and he's like, yes. And then he looks down at my foot and sees the puddle of blood that I'm splashing in. He's like... Right away, he, like, changes his tone. He's like, oh, my God, like, let me get you a chair. Let's clean this up. Da -da -da -da. So he calls somebody to clean it up. 
So I remember I put my foot down and I literally shrieked the loudest shriek ever in my entire life. I was like, it was so loud and it was just my natural reaction. I, don't, I didn't even know that I had that in me. My natural reaction was just to shriek and I was like, it's bad. Like I just turned to him and I was like, this is really bad. You know, the guy at Walmart, he gets his paperwork. He's like, do you want me to call the police? And at this point, I'm like, hell yeah. Yes, absolutely. I need police. I need ambulance. I need police reports filled out. I need every type of report filled out that you have on your end. So we did just that. We tell him to call the police. We tell him to call the ambulance. Whatever. So the ambulance comes, and the police never came. When the ambulance came, he's like, oh, I called the police, but they, did, they never came. They never showed up. Like, hmm, that's convenient. So the ambulance comes, they look at my foot, and they're like, okay, you can go to the hospital if you want, we'll take you. And the manager is, like, in the background saying, we're not paying for it, Walmart's not paying for it. The people in the ambulance were like, okay, well, if you put hydrogen peroxide on it and give it a few days, it'll scab over since it's just a cut and it'll go away. I'm, like, looking at white meat right now, and these people are telling me it's going to go away. And I'm like, mm, I don't know about this. And then I also have the Walmart manager in my ear saying, we're not paying for it. We're not paying for it. I just had my first baby. You know, things were pretty tight. And I didn't want to put this burden of this large hospital bill onto my family. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. These people from the EMT are saying that if I go home and wait a few days, it'll scab over and it'll be fine. So I'll just take their word for it. So that's what I did. I took their word for it. Put the hydrogen peroxide, didn't scab over, still looked the same, still looked disgusting. So I still couldn't walk on it either. So I call my job and I'm like, hey, you know, I can't come back to work, I can't walk. And they're like, what the hell is going on? So I tell them the whole story and they're like, okay, you know, we'll put you on temporary leave, whatever. Two days go by, I was finally like, you know what, like, let's call a lawyer, let's see what they say. So I call a lawyer, and the lawyer is like, that sounds awful, and we need to get you to a doctor right away. So the lawyer puts me in touch with the doctor, and the doctor tells me, you need surgery. And you need surgery right away. So I'm like, okay, let's do this. And he's like, but... I'm not going to perform the surgery because I don't know if Walmart will pay for it or not. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, you're not going to give me surgery because you don't know if you're going to get paid for it? Bro, like, I'm pretty sure you don't need this money even if you didn't get paid from it. You're a doctor. He doesn't perform the surgery. I go to my lawyer a few days later and I'm like, look, I can't not be able to walk. I have a six-month-old son. I can't even pick up my son right now, which is the worst part of this whole ordeal for me. I'm struggling mentally because now I'm starting to get depressed because I can't work and I don't have any money coming in. I need to pay my bills. I can't pay my bills. I'm losing my apartment. So, I mean, this was just like an awful trickle-down effect for my life. I was out of work, lost a crap ton of money, and I lost my apartment at the time. I had my son. I couldn't provide for my son. That like broke my heart all the time. It was definitely something that I struggled with. I went back to my lawyer and I was like, look, I can't live like this. And my lawyer was like, okay, no problem. Let's get a second opinion. So we went to another doctor and got a second opinion. This doctor told me, you need surgery, but if I give you surgery since you've waited about a month now, if I give you surgery, there's a chance that it will not heal properly and you'll end up with a hole this big in the back of your ankle. Or we can cast you, give it some time, take that cast off, adjust the position, cast you again, give it some time, take that off, adjust your position until your foot is back to, you know, regular, how it's supposed to look. So I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to end up with a hole in the back of my freaking foot for the rest of my life, so let's do the second option and let's just try to heal it naturally. So that's exactly what we did. So that is how I ended up in the cast. And I had about three, maybe four casts. I was in cast for like four months. So I was definitely in those for a while. And that is why my leg got so freaking hairy, people. And yes, girls have hair. And unfortunately, I just happen to be one of those women who's like super freaking hairy. So I had a shit ton of hair on my legs. And if you guys want to see exactly how much hair on my legs I had, 
Check out my cast videos in the description box down below. Thank you so much to the people who keep asking how I ended up in the cast. It really means a lot that you actually care that much about this whole cast process. And thanks so much for watching this video. As always, I'll see you guys on the next video.